Hey guys, so back on August 2nd this year, a little film came out that I thought I was just gonna see and enjoy a baby, but nope. What happened was I loved the film so much that I think it's actually probably tied with fifth best film of all time, in my opinion, with the Mario Bros. movie. What film is this? You may be asking. Yes, I can hear you. Don't, just don't roll, just roll with it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, my favorite Ninja Turtles film in a series that I really love. But I did make myself a little deal. If I could get a working camera before the film turned two months old, I would drink this hot chocolate I left out on August 2nd. Now you can probably see that this hot chocolate just looks so scrumptious. Mm -mm -mm. One lucky man to be drinking this. So, uh, throughout this review, you will be seeing me drink this and knocking 10 years off my lifespan. Ooh, I can feel my arteries closing with every sip. We start the film off with the film psyching your ass out. See, this man will come over and you're like, we going, we going in there. That's where the turtle's at. But no, Cap pulls up and SEAL Team 6 is like, okay, boys, Baxter Sartman's making the reanimator serum. Go, go, go. At the Baxter making a mixing fucking bleach with a blue meth and probably a fair serving of cafeteria food. That shit was toxic, bro. To make the reanimator serum, it's like, yes, my fine fly in a cradle. I'm gonna make you guys a family. Bump, bump, oh shit. Shit, yo, Baxter, we know you in there. Come out here or you won't be shot. Hmm, this could be a trick. Nah, fam, let's leave. Leave. Go, 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 gun. Gun. Yo, Baxter, stop. Stop. No, fam. Fly, gone. Where fly go? Where fly go? Oh, no. Oh no, the fly. Why? Yo, what the fuck were you putting in that fly? Eh. Nothing but weight gain for a thousand. What the fuck? Oh no, the fly took my eye. <laughs> no, don't shoot the tank of oxygen. We go by Jaws logic. That would explode. Baxter fucking dies. What was this one? PG? PG death. Like what? Five minutes in? Five minutes in. Death. Mommy, what's death? Oh, um. We can talk about that in the car. Then the reanimator serum goes down this drain. Then it cuts to a rooftop where Leonardo's like, yo, guys, Splinter sent us out to go get fucking go good. Big ass shopping list looks like my fucking Walmart receipt. So then we have a pretty fun montage of them wait, stealing all the stuff they need. I mean, they didn't pay for it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they saved a bunch of people. They saved like the entire world. So you know what? Yeah. They got, they went to jail. Me personally, um, I'm gonna break out and I'm gonna end the world. Cause I stole like what forty dollars worth of product from fucking Dollar General. Also, I just gotta say that the soundtrack to this film is some straight heat. Yo, if you stand out to "Can I Kick It," shit go hard. The song in this scene goes hard. Actually, every song in this film go hard. There's not a single dud, bro. I'm telling you, they got all the finest lyrical geniuses in the game, bro. They got Shaggy 2, bro. They got Limp Bizkit, bro. They got P.O.D. They got Linkin Park. They got Dr. Seuss, bro. They got all the great. They got, they got all the best musicians, all the best rappers. They got Froggy Fresh. They got everybody in there they to write some certified heat, bro. Then we got Ice Cube voice in the main villain, bro. Certified heat, bro. You cannot lie and tell me that there was not some heat, bro. This film... The soundtrack needs to get on video, but I'm sick of being the fucking Barbie movie. Goddamn, I'm just can't. It's fucking pink, bro. 
is pink and it stinks, bro. She garbage. I saw the Barbie movie. She got so bored, I started talking through it. My mom kicked me out. So you know what I did? I found where Muted Mayhem was playing. I watched through most of that. But apparently, I broke into the movie, even though an employee who saw me buy the Barbie movie ticket came in, started sweeping, and said, Yeah, sure, he's here. I guess he paid for the ticket. Didn't say anything. Anyways, back to the plot. So, uh, a bunch of shit's gone missing. And... Donnie's like, yo, guys. Okay, no, Donnie was a girl. I will not, I will never agree that as long as that voice was voicing this character, that was a girl. But I'll still call it a boy because why not? She's like, hey, guys. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> hey, guys, there's a movie playing. I was like, yeah, let's go see it. And Leo's like, I don't know. I won't go see it. Then eventually they just get sad through it. And they say, y'all, let's, let's just go. Let's go. On their way home, Splint is like, yo, what the fuck were you got? Oh yeah, Dracky Chan voices this guy character. Also, the casting was some straight heat. <laughs> Can't lie. There were like two casting choices that I didn't like. And I don't even think the casting ruined the characters. I could make an Asian stereotype joke, but I mean, Jackie Chan would find me and kick my ass if I did, so, uh, yeah. He's like, yo, guys, what the fuck were you? And Leo, he snitchy, bro, bro, spills the beans. Like, it ain't nothing. Bro says, yo, we saw the movie. I was like, bro, what the fuck? So then they all get grounded for a month, and, uh, the, uh, the next day, Oh yeah, next scene, actually, we cut to this ice cream truck. Real quick, let me knock a few years on my life. Oh yeah, they're ungrounded, so apparently we skipped a month in like 10 seconds. Wait, no ice cream truck scene. So a bunch of people got hired by Superfly. I, I stealing the thing by from TCRI, which is where the ooze comes from. Oh yeah, spoilers, I guess. Fucking eight minutes into this video, spoilers. They fooled this guy to going into the middle of nowhere in the fucking hood. And they pop his tires and they nuke him. They blow the door up and then they take the shit, put in the ice cream truck, but they get caught because they speed it in the pigs, which is in some alleyway in the hood, as one does. Then Superfly picks him up and he flies him away. We kind of get to see like Superfly but at the same time, we kind of don't. So it's still kind of mysterious. But if you just don't want to know what he looks like until the big reveal later on in the movie, just close your eyes and just let let yourself hear it. Next scene, they're ungrounded. And they're just slicing some fruit, playing fucking Fruit Ninja IRL. When Raph is like, yo, let's use the ninja star. So he throws it, and it throws off the the roof that they're on, and it hits April, who's black, in this helmet, and she's talking the most shit. She either has a corn t-shirt on or a fucking WWF t-shirt. In 2023, she's like, hey, yo, what the fuck's your problem, bro? You tried to kill me? Then some guy steals her bike, and Leo starts... Straight up simping, bro. Simping. Bro, not even. Bro, not my Leon. So then they go and they get the bike, and we get to see an epic fight scene. Also, the fight scene is on just top tier, bro. 
I can't even lie, there's some heat. So after like 12 guys get their cheeks clapped, April pull up and she meets the turtles. And at first she's like, nah, nah, bro, some costumes. Then she touches the eye and then she starts freaking out. But then five seconds later, she's, she's chill again. So April wants to be a news reporter, but she tried to do it on camera, but she threw up. So now she's called Pupe Girl and the prom got canceled for reasons. So she's trying to get prom uncanceled. So the turtles are gonna help her because they don't, they just wanna go to high school. Also, this this place did a ma this movie did an amazing job of predicting high school. Ten out of ten experience. Don't believe me? Watch the film and tell me that that one's about high school, at least modern day high school. Jit fucking sucks. I know I'm in high school junior. So then she pinpoints a bunch of shit after she gets this piece of paper that a bunch of people, like, uh, fucking, a uh, woman, toupee, Tom, normal mate, and the fucking rat king. Yes, you could say bad Bernie or whoever the fuck, but no, that was the rat king. You could not convince me otherwise. So after more straight up heat music and more straight up heat fight scenes, Eventually, Bad Bunny's like, yo, here's the deal. Here's the van, here's the shit. Now just go under this bridge and they'll be super fly. They go under the bridge. Oh uh, yeah, Master Explainer's like, yo, I know what you guys are doing, bro. You guys, you guys are leaving on that dumb. Magically suspicious. And he tries to get him a bunch of cardboard cutouts for friends, but they say, nah, bro, just, just go. Buy them. So then, they roll up. And then, Uh, fucking Bebop and Rock City get out. And they just start vibing to some more beats. And then Superfly gets out. And Bo just vibing. I can't even lie. Bo, Bo busting some moves. Then they realize that they came from the same ooze. So technically they're cousins. Then we're about to get, then we meet up with all the homies, uh, Bebop, Rocksteady, uh, fucking Mondo, Gecko, Reefa Lee, uh, Scuttlebug, uh, Frog. Wait, they put me in the film? Uh. I forgot the rest. No! I gotta get changed for gymnastics. No! Yes! Vera? Yes. It's rolling! Okay, it's gonna... rolling! I, I can't pause it! Reed, get the stuff and get out! Fine. Knock next time, you piece of shit! You need to learn how to knock! Two times you interrupted my video! You need to learn how to sh stop! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Make another song, I'll kick your ass! And they go to this bowling alley. And there, oh yeah, there's also fucking Wingnut. Fuck Wingnut. Wingnut was from the fucking Mutants in Manhattan game. And I hated that boss fight so much. It was so boring. But I forgot one on purpose. They did my boy Leatherhead dirty in this film. They cut off his weenus. They got Margot Robbie in her best performance yet, by the way. To voice fucking leather, bro. 
So then they go to a fucking what? Not now. They go to a fucking bowling alley and they're supposed to have share in common. They then we piece together Superfly's origin story, where he. He was born, and then his dad fucking died. <laughs> he escaped, got all the homies, well, siblings. Then he raised them, and then they were like, you know what, bro? Let's give these humans a shot. They go out on the town, and they're like, don't go very well. So then this guy, he's trying to kill him. That Superfly says, nah, fuck that, bro. So Superfly touched that cheek, started my whopping that boy. What? What? I put that fool on the ground, be that. Be that ass within an inch of his life. Then, from that moment on, he decided to make this big ass, giant, fucking 20 ton ray that poisoned the moon and will turn all fleas, shit animals into a mutant. And the few that survive get to be turned to dumb shit. Like, uh, Fat Booty Boy Races and, uh, Hillbilly Redneck Shows and Pets. So then the turtles are like, um, <laughs> no. Then April's like, bro, you really just gonna let him do this? So they come up with a plan. Look at fool. Plan was that they're just gonna drive away with the piece, then throw the piece in like a fucking vat of acid. But make sure that they know where they're going. Fucking Rocksteady, Wingnut, and Mondo Gecko go with them. Mondo be driving, even though Bro looks like he's stoned. Bro looks like he's been stoned since Woodstock. So they're driving and Mikey started playing fucking eight ball pool because he uses Donnie's staff like a fucking pool stick. They presses the gas so that the, it stops. But they don't wear seat belts because they didn't watch uh, those PSAs about safety. So they get fucking flung out the window. The windshield breaks. Then we got one of the best scenes in history of history. The car chase scene in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mean and Mayhem. So good, it makes me, sh makes me drool. Makes me want to go play eight ball pool. Makes me want to sit on a stool. That's how good this scene is. Steak moved up to the maximum. What? Grandma, not now. Everything about this scene is perfection. Until it stops. That that's the worst part about it. But I mean the film didn't stop, so it's not that bad. So after the turtles get uh their fucking asses kicked, they drive off a cliff and then uh SEAL Team Six with a uh, blueberry hair bitch pull pulls up and she kidnaps them to extract them for their blood so that they can make fucking dolphin man <laughs> and eagle man to win wars and shit. But then Master Splinter, oh uh, yeah, April was like, yo, Master Splinter, uh, your son's been kidnapped. They get milked. Now what do I mean by that? Master Splinter breaks into the facility and he starts he touched that cheek, starts mind whopping everybody. Wow, some more straight fucking heat, bro. Playing in the backgrounds. 
he he breaks him out. He's like, yo guys, you, you fucked up. Now let's just go stop this and live in the sewers. And they're like, yeah, I'm sorry, Dad, bro. I like, Dad, I know you're not you're not mad. You're just disappointed. So they go and everybody they're like, yo man, those turtles were cool. Tell they threw us out the window, but eh. Then the turtles pull up and the super fly like, yo guys, just fucking stop, bro. You guys tried almost got killed once. Just give up. What do you see about these humans? And they're like, I mean they ain't all that bad. Everybody's like, eh, yeah, sure. And then Leo's like, yo, guys, you, you cool. You don't have to do this, bro. You, you guys can just come live in the sewers with us. And they're like, oh, shit, never mind. Oh, Superfly, we stop with this, bro. I don't agree. And Superfly's like, bro, I raised y'all. I'm your damn dad at this point. And y'all really just gonna do me like this? So then, everybody's mad at him. Got these big-ass eyebrows. They did really put me in this film. That rock say he just goes up and he's just throwing hands, bro. That super fly, he grabs him because he has four hands and a fucking claw. He's like, pull up Mike Tyson on that bitch. Folds his ass. Then Bebop, like, nah, fam, we throw it. So then uh, everybody's getting their ass hand to him. So everybody just starts pushing Superfly. And he's like, yo. Rat. Bro, get these whole, get these no asses off of me, bro. He's like, nah, fam. Nah, fam. Like his name was fucking Edge. Oh, shit, no. No, my force disintegrating. Shit, no. Like that bro's name was Edge. Bro hit the spear. Blue super fuck ass away. They're like, yeah, let's do it. But he was into the ocean. So that super fly gets combined with a bunch of shit. He's like, yo, you guys are just fucked yourself. So uh yeah, I'm gonna go destroy New York. And then more certified heat. More certified heat later. And we'll pull up and they, they say no fucking chance all getting their asses kicked. And then the turtles, they drive in the fucking pizza van from uh, Toy Story. Drive up a parking garage. They're all teaming up to get this canister of uh, the demutagen up to Superfly. Until Superfly catches Master Sweater lacking. And he bitch slaps him in slow motion. So he gets flung like 150 miles away, breaking every bone in his body. Bro got ragdoll, bro straight up. He's getting ragdoll around like. Then he thinks it's over. Some humans pulling up, he cracking his knuckles like, nah fam, it's over, bro. But then he taps him up like, yo, I got you, fam. Because April got to channel six, just like the show. And was like, nah, bro, that fly, he the problem. These turtles, they the shit, bro. I don't think my fly is supposed to be hissing. Hey, yeah, I'll figure that out later. So all the humans they just start teaming up, and Mikey, Raph, and all the, all the homies, yo guys, they call for the plot. So according to Demon Slayer or Attack on Titan or some shit, I don't watch anime. Apparently, in the back of every monster's neck, there's this hole. And if you put something in it, as like a fucking penny in there, boom, they dead. So, they think, gotta get up there, throw it in the hole, and then we Gucci, bro.
Oh yeah, that was early in the film before the whole uh, bitch slapping, but. Okay, cut back to now. Everybody, they're all teaming up to take down Superfly. The bag gets thrown in the air because it's in a fucking bag. But you know, a Waffle House employee could do this easily, bro. Waffle House employees been through some shit, I'm telling you. Jumps up, slices the bag, shit go in the hole. Superfly, he just dies. <laughs> then, everything's going good, bro. Tills accepted, they go into high school. Prom's not canceled. Everything's going good, bro. Mikey drops his headband. That's his play to catch that shit perfectly. Single tear falls from his eyes. They walk into high school and everybody recognizes them from the news and they hype. Then, everything goes well. End of movie. Now, I hope that for at least I was able to make you want to go see the film or buy the film. Please go give money to this amazing film. I, I It did not deserve to underperform. I know it came in at like four, but it did not deserve that. It deserved number one. When I, and I really, all my family says that the Barbie movie was better. So I want you to go watch the Barbie movie and then go watch this movie. And we all know which is better. It's not the fucking Barbie movie, bro. Margot Robbie did better in this film than in that film. She was the fucking lead in that film. She was supposed to do better in that film. Overall rating, 11 out of 10. One of the best films I've seen in my life, no cap. Cap and I hope you have a good day.